Hey guys, it's me, Callie. So this is car vlog number two. And as you can see, I've changed the angle of the camera mount. Uh, Tom has assured me that it's legal to put on my windshield and it's not impeding my vision in any way. So hopefully that's true and I won't get pulled over and it won't be as bumpy this way, I don't think, but we'll see. It's a little overcast here today, as you can see out my window. But I am taking you guys with me as I go to visit my dear friend Ellen and her husband Antoine. And I've mentioned them a few times before. Um, Ellen most recently gave me that huge amount of candle making supplies. And her husband Antoine is a musician. And you've heard me mention our friend Steve. Shout out to Steve. Uh, Antoine and Steve play together guitar acoustically and Ellen, from the moment I met her, I felt a instant connection with, an instant spark with, and to me, she represents the epitome of like Earth Mother. She is just so warm and it was just instant. I felt like I knew her forever and she said she felt the same way. So I'm very honored. Again, she's one of the amazing, strong women that I'm honored to have in my life. So it had been a while since we've hung out and good old Facebook, thank God I can keep in touch with people. Um, we set up a date, so we're doing that. And then after that, I'm gonna hang out just for a couple hours. She lives literally, oh, I don't know. I think it's, I didn't look at my odometer, but less than 10 miles from my house. So uh, after that, I'm gonna meet up with Mr. Tom and we are going to go to the produce stand and just run some errands. I need some groceries. I need to pick up some more sugar and some tea for my kombucha. For those of you guys who follow me on Facebook, you saw that I decanted it yesterday. Yesterday was day 12 and it's amazing and I posted a picture on Facebook and I ordered some bottles on Amazon um, just six for now but like those kind of big they look like beer bottles with the resealable caps as soon as I show them to you guys you'll know what I'm talking about but if I like them I'll get some more um, and that's it's really tasty it tastes like fizzy apple cider you know I got two requests for scobies to go out and I got to get back to my comments this week that's one thing I need to do for sure um, so I will get back to you girls about that and I have at least one available that I can ship out uh, first come first serve and I'll put my uh, just contact me and we'll, we'll work out something through PayPal or you can send me something in the mail but that's exciting, and also, I just finished, it's on my kitchen table right now, um, another junk drawer collage, and it came out so cool. And I used a birthday card that I got from another amazing woman in my life, my girlfriend Holly, the one who gave me these bracelets. Um, that was her birthday card to me. And I give credit to the artist in the video of the card, but I just, basically went through the contents of my junk drawer again and uh, glued it all onto a, a frame and a collage. All right, my turn is coming up right up here. And I'm so happy that I'm gonna share this with you guys. And what I'll do is I'll just, I'm not gonna vlog inside, but um, I will either vlog on the way home and put splice these together look at me editing like a pro uh, and post it later but I still have to finish splicing together the junk drawer collage video my plate is full hopefully this weekend I won't have a whole lot of stuff going on I think other than the auction although somehow I think 
Sunday. Can you guys see the trees passing by? I should go slower. Let me see if I go slow. There's nobody behind me. Um, yeah, there. You can catch some of the amazing fall foliage still going on here. Um, what was I just saying? Oh, yeah. On Sunday, I have a feeling that there's live music somewhere this around here. Speaking of Steve and Antoine, I'm pretty sure that they might be doing a show. And I heard something about dinner being included. Or not, yeah, like $25 for music and a show. As a matter of fact, now that I'm talking about it, I'm almost positive that that is going on. And so it'll be Steve and Antoine and then this other um, band that I heard recently. I think it's called The Other Guys. They do like mountain Appalachian kind of twisty on modern stuff. I don't know. If we do that, I'll let you know. But speaking of food, I don't want to miss my turn here. So it's hard to talk and drive at the same time. Isn't that funny? Um, Aspen Lane. Everything's named after trees here. And I think they live on like pine. This is it. I'm getting close. Yeah, so speaking of food, you guys, oh my God. Tom and I were in search of, there's a new Indian restaurant in one of the towns close by that we heard about. So he went online looking and didn't find the Indian restaurant, but stumbled upon this Thai place. And it's our new favorite place. So if you guys like Thai food, give me a thumbs up. Okay, I'm here. See how quick that was? Um, they live right next to this house that's like shaped like an octagon. They call it the round house. I wish I could show you guys that. I probably could. Maybe I'll show you on my way out. All right, if I decide to vlog on my way out, I'll show you the octagon house. But I don't want to blow anybody's privacy, but I'm here right now. So I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs and maybe I'll see you on the way back. All right. Hey guys, so I'm just leaving Ellen and Antoine's right now. And I'm holding the camera right now because I'm going to show you that house before I leave. And then I'll put you back on the mount. So, I don't think anybody lives here right now. Hang on. I'm going to flip you around. Isn't that cool, you guys? I hope you could see that okay. So that's so weird. I don't know what happened there. If I get that clip in, I'll add it. If not, one of the perils of driving while trying to deal with a camera. Not safe, right? So anyway, I had a really great visit and it's always good to see them. They had a really good spread of some hummus and olives and listen to me talking about food. <laughs> Like I said, Ellen to me is like, you know, earth mama. And it's just, both of them are very relaxing to be around and I so enjoy their company. And I've decided unless uh, the boys are busy this weekend that we definitely need to go out on Sunday and check out this live music that's gonna be happening. So I look forward to it. So it's about three o'clock in the afternoon right now. All day long, it's looked like it's going to rain, but I don't think, I don't know, it's pretty warm out, actually. But, like I said before, going to run some errands, um, go to the produce stand, and maybe go to Walmart, which I really don't like to go to Walmart. Maybe the dollar store. I just need to get some groceries. I need to pick up some glue sticks. That collage that I just finished ate up all my glue sticks. So, pick up a few odds and ends. And that's pretty much it. We'll be chilling at, at the cave tonight. And get to watch another episode of American Horror Story. Because I told you we get them a day after because we bought the series on Amazon. But, man, there is a guy climbing right up road and I don't know why he's going so fast but I wish he would slow down I'm gonna 
make a right here. And I don't know where he's going. But I hate aggressive drivers. Like, relax. And he's right behind me. Or she. Somebody. But I always do the speed limit. I always wear my seatbelt. Um, I've been driving. I should knock wood. For over... 30 years. I think I was I was 16 when I got my permit. I'm 51 now. Uh, but I didn't get my license until I was 20. So I've been driving for 31 years and I have never, again, not good, never gotten into a car accident. I've never gotten a speeding ticket. Um, I did get a parking ticket one time when I was in college. I parked in a handicapped spot when I was late for, an, there's no excuse, uh, but I remember I was late for an exam and I took the spot and lo and behold came out to a ticket, which I deserved, but I'm a safe driver and it drives me crazy when I pe see people texting while they're driving or answering their phones or that's why I even hesitated to uh, vlog because I didn't want to be distracted but this to me is basically the same as if I were singing along to the radio so now instead I'm just talking to you guys and it's so uh, you can see that the sun just came out so bright right now the sky is totally gray and the sun just burst through the clouds there for a minute so that was kind of cool. I was debating on whether or not I should stop back at my house, but I think I'm going to drive directly to Tom's. And then I'll go there and we'll either leave directly or if he's working, I'll upload these and put these out. And like I said, I got to finish working on the collage video. So that'll be good. I really want to, um, I missed the last two months, I think, of doing journals. I've been doing a different art journal every month for the year, and I really slacked, I think, in September and uh, October for sure. I did not do one, so I think it's time for me to, to do it again. I miss it, and even if I'm not doing videos on what I'm journaling, um, I think it's a good practice to have and I have some new I haven't even touched those new silk acrylic glazes that I got I think I'll be using those in uh, the page that I'm doing for the next installment of the Gypsy and the Witch Ooh, I'm just passing by the auction and my road is coming up here Somebody's actually, oh, the person in front of me doesn't know where they're going. But yeah, we're going to go right to Tom's house. I haven't seen him all day since this morning. He was busy. I left his house this morning, got back to my house, finished up the collage, took a shower, got dressed, jumped in the car to go to Ellen's, and you guys know the rest. This will be it. Once I get to Tom's, I'm not going to continue vlogging. And he doesn't choose to be on camera uh, at this point. And I respect that. So, and I'm also not, at this point, not comfortable vlogging out in public. But I think, again, that's why this car vlog is a good way to uh, kind of have the best of both worlds. And get to bring you guys with me. I told you I don't do a lot of driving, but I'll take you with me in the afternoons wherever I go. And this windshield mount is working out much better than the other angle I had before, I think. Let me know what you guys think. So, uh, I had some hummus and some chips, but I'm getting hungry again. Uh, we have leftovers from last night's uh, Thai food. Which I'm so looking forward to. Um, I, 
forget the name of the dish that I had, but it was basically uh, fried tofu and vegetables with brown rice and this really spicy, super garlicky sauce that was so freaking amazing. And we also had um, Thai spring rolls for an appetizer. And I ordered this salad that I'm going to try to recreate. It was shredded cabbage and shredded carrots. What are you people doing? Shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, crushed peanuts, and I think lime juice and maybe a little bit of salt. I'm pretty sure those were the only three ingredients. So I'm going to experiment, maybe add, I don't know if anything, a little bit of spice to it. We'll see, but that was so amazing. They just add, you know, so simple. So we have the salad, the spring rolls, and I am pulling into Tom's right now, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this car vlog again. And I will get this up to you shortly and know that I love you guys and you'll see my face again on Sunday um, when I do my weekly update. So I'll talk to you guys really soon and I love you. Yeah.